<laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You're the wind, buddy. This is what I do most every weekday. Monday to Friday. Lots of papers. And I roll them. My husband delivers them. Unless I feel good. Decide to help. Okay, today I'm going to explain to you about a little bit about our paper routes. And I'm helping my husband today, so just listen in, okay? I love this little guy coming up. Always greets us. Nice guy. Now, we have several routes. My husband has five. Um, we have a grand total of like, I think it's 160, maybe more, maybe less. Um, it usually depends on the time of the year. We have snowbirds, people who leave for the winter and come back during the summer so sometimes we go low sometimes we have high um, it depends if we have new people or if they're t um, uh, subscription expires um, or they just decide they can no longer do it there's a lady here who I love because she gives us cookies and here in a second you'll see me wave some cookies those are the ones she usually makes for us Usually four in total. We love him to death, so does my son. Unfortunately, he's allergic to peanuts, so sometimes he cannot have them. You're probably noticing right now that my husband is actually doing most of the delivering. Usually during the first route, I roll all the papers, except maybe one route that I usually do towards the end. Um, Days like today where it was very windy and kind of chilly, and for a person from Arizona, it was kind of chilly and cold, so I stayed inside. Um, plus, with my seizures, I wasn't really feeling well this day, so we decided that I would stay in the van while he delivered. There are some spots along the way where um, I can just put in the paper from the car and I don't even have to leave. Um, my husband's from Alaska, so this type of weather does not bother him necessarily but it was still kind of windy and chilly. Burr.
Now, as you can see here, um, if my husband can part right, I can deliver the paper straight from my window into the person's delivery box, their paper box. Now, some people might appear to have paper boxes, but they no longer subscribe, so we ignore them. Apparently, we had an argument there. Um, yep, those are the papers. Um, we usually just pile them up right there by the side, so we can just easily distribute them from house to house, and it, it, it can be fun. This is my son's reaction to telling him I will not give him a cookie because the last one belongs to his sister. Dad is checking to see if he's upset, but I know the real reason, so here he is. Now usually right after this route we do go of two directions, and I'll show you in a bit what I mean. Now today, because my daughter had soccer practice, we decided not to go pick her up. And she usually has that until about 4 in the afternoon. Usually, on days when she does not have practice, we have to leave and go pick her up to school. Which usually can delay us from, from this route about 20-30 mm, minutes. But during the day she has practice, we can go straight forward and just start on this route and continue on. And, try and go as far as long as we can before we have to pick her up. As you can see right here, um, it was really windy, and for some reason up here, the higher in the hills, the windier it actually gets, and also much colder. These mountains you see here are the Bighorn Mountains, and they're my most favorite view from town, especially going down this particular road because you just get a gorgeous view of the mountains. We still have a little bit of snow that's melting and we are going between hot and cold weather right now, so it's still very beautiful. Now, usually we have um, this route to do last, and usually between the last one you just saw and this one, we usually had to pick up our daughter. Today we were very fortunate because we managed to roll the papers all in time. We delivered to that school. We have many other places we deliver. And we just managed to get this route done before we had to pick up our daughter from soccer practice, which we felt very woohoo with. Yes, my feet were up in the air because my feet were going numb. I can only sit so long before my feet go numb. Some of you are probably thinking, well, why didn't you go help out? Usually on this route, I actually do help. We usually split this in half because it is, it is the biggest of our routes. It's over 70 papers that we need to deliver. 
and like I said earlier, um, because of the weather and my symptoms, today was just not a good day. Big Horn Mountains! And, well, there's a lot of other reasons, but... now coming close to the very end of the route. There's actually a small um, other half of the section. This is this part that you've been watching. Um, it's actually the biggest part of the route. I unfortunately ran out of battery so I did not film the second half of this route which is actually another 30 minutes. But you get a good view as, as to how many papers we deliver in one particular day and we do this five days a week and my husband does this on Friday nights for Saturday morning papers because he works on Saturday. Here's another view of the Big Corn Mountains. Um, I cut the audio out of this one because the wind was so strong you all you heard was just wind 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 but this is another view from a route that we usually take to go get my daughter and again it's just another beautiful view of the mountains i can never get enough of them i love living near mountains and mm, they're beautiful i wish i got a better shot though but oh well good enough see you later